Travis Couture has burst onto the fashion scene, becoming a multi-billion dollar segment of the fashion industry in the space of a few years. It combines style with modesty, and Taslim Bobulia is an expert in the field. Should the relationship between modesty and style be an either-or situation, or can they coexist? In the mind of Josie-based designer Taslim Bulbulia, the answer to this question could only be, why not? And she has provided convincing proof on the ramp locally and internationally. Priya was about to meet Taslim on the roof of her downtown Josie studio. One of the fastest growing fashion designs in the world is something called cover wear or modest wear. And one of the leading designers in the world is South Africa's very own Taslim Bulbulia. And today we get to know her a little bit better. Taslim's colourful creations show that there's no reason for cover wear to be dowdy, shapeless or in any way unfeminine. Taslim, hi, hi, how are you? Good, and you? Very good, thanks. This looks amazing. What are we getting up to? So we're doing a photo shoot. This is my latest collection. Mm -hmm. I showed it at Asia Islamic Fashion Week. And I'm just basically putting it in a street environment so you can see what it's like to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, tell me a little bit about the range whilst we have it in front of us. Well, the collection is really a combination of colour, texture. I use a lot of brocade in this collection, with denim and African wax prints. I love mixing different ethnicities because I think that's what we are in South Africa. You know, we have a bit of everything. It's just about the way I think things look good to me. I don't know if it looks good to <laughs> other people, but you know, I like to mash colour and texture and see what comes out. So I've heard you've got a little bit of a surprise for me. So shall we go down and chat and then you can show me what it is? Oh yes. The workshop is a zone of almost zen-like focus, and even the clutter of sewing machines isn't a distraction. So Kriya, this is where we put everything together. With my wonderful tailors who actually take my vision and turn it into a product. So walk me through your design process. How does it get from in your head to what we see on a runway? I get inspired by different things. I particularly love fabric and trim, so that kind of always sparks something, and then I kind of just put that together, cut stuff up, bring it downstairs. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I always say there are no mistakes in fashion, we just evolve. Well, speaking of your designs, I'd love to see your studio. Yes, yeah, sure. It looks amazing. Oh, look at that detail. So this is one of my most popular items at the moment. It's a linen caftan. It's very easy wearing. It's got pockets. Very comfortable. <laughs> the best thing about anything my, is pockets. My favourite thing is when there's pockets. And they all come with a different detailing around the neckline. Well, Nicola, you go. Get ready for outfit number two. Thank you. So, how did you get into fashion? Because I know there's quite an interesting story with your parents. My late father used to import fabric, so we came from a fabric background. My late grandmother used to work as a machinist, so did my mom, and they would always make us clothing. So I've always had a love for it. And I always wanted to make something that I wanted, that you're not gonna, you couldn't find in stores anyway. So I kind of just grew up in that kind of industry. So besides the actual fabric, where do you draw your inspiration from when it comes to creating a look or a garment? Fashion is global and you get inspiration from everything and I look at all types of runways, not only modest runways. For me, I get a lot of inspiration from fabrication and from trims. I love trims and so I build a range basically on a trim. Even though I start out thinking I'm going to do a collection of 12 garments, this is what it's going to look like, it kind of takes on a life of its own as I go through it. You've showcased at a lot of fashion weeks, not only in South Africa, but internationally as well. Recently, I had the opportunity to showcase at Asia Islamic Fashion Week, uh, which is you know, predominantly aimed at a Muslim market. And it was very interesting because I got to meet other Asian designers. And it's been an amazing journey. Everybody was really supportive and positive, and I now have stuff sold in the Philippines on an online store there. With E, what are the trends for 2017? I do love bomber jackets and I think that will be a big trend. Big oversized coats are quite nice. Bold colour, bright prints. Brocade's going to be here for a long time. How is modest wear viewed internationally? The world is now catching on. I've been invited to Torino Fashion Week, so that's also quite exciting for an Italian Fashion Week to now say, you know what, we want a modest wear platform. Are we ready to see our next outfit? Yeah, so Nicola's wearing something from my latest collection. Also has a caftan influence. And then I've got some applique lace done onto it. And my favorite things are the little tassels. <laughs> so that was just taking a boring fabric and giving it a bit of color. That's beautiful. Thank you. Well, speaking about something exciting and beautiful, I heard that you have a surprise for me. I do. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. 
That is amazing. Well, I'm gonna go try it on. Can't wait to see you in it. We'll see you guys upstairs. Taslim's creativity offers a convincing rebuttal to stereotyping and her garments will appeal to wearers with an eye for fit, detail and a fresh outlook, irrespective of their ethnic, cultural or religious roots. Be it in terms of colour or texture, contrast is an element that she uses to striking effect. Excellent job, Kriya. Why, well, thank you very much. This is a beautiful outfit. My pleasure. Thank you. So, do I have a job? Definitely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for letting us hang out with you today. It has really been great to learn about your journey in fashion. And I'm keeping this. So, bye.